Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Yeah, well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. with me. Hi, it's Dr. Steinbrook in New York. Well, Dr. Steinbrook, thank you so much for joining us here in Dallas, Texas on the Valder BB Show. What do you know that we need to know? All right. Thanks, Valder. Thanks for having me. And good morning to you. What we're talking about this morning is something that really bothers a lot of people because it is summertime now. And over the winter, we all could hibernate. We could all wear our scarves around our neck or maybe even a light jacket or a coat. But you know what? Now it's summer, you're at the beach, and there's nowhere to hide. So what my patients, what really bothers them is this fullness underneath the neck. We call it a double chin. And, you know, the problem is it makes them feel older than they are and more overweight than they are. But the good news is now we have a product. It used to be just submental liposuction. That means sub underneath the chin, mental. But with surgery... We have problems with swelling, extended, recovery, bruising, and it's not good for summer. But the magic of a new treatment is called Kybella. And what Kybella does is Kybella is a molecule that's naturally occurring. We call it deoxycholic acid, and it can be injected into the neck. It takes about 15, 20 minutes, and we do maybe one to three treatments, and it is gone. Okay, and this is an in-office procedure? Absolutely. It can be done in the, in the office. It can be done over lunch hour. You can go right back to work, and you can get right back to the beach that weekend. It has very little redness, very little swelling, and it really doesn't have sort of the prolonged recovery that sometimes having surgery can have. So patients love it. My patients love it because they can get back to their family, and they can get right back to work. Okay, so we always hear about the good side of these new processes right. and things like that. Okay, what's the downside? Uh, there can be some complications, and everybody's got to know about it uh, with, any, with any medical treatment. So there are some, the, the good news is that there are some small things and that they're usually temporary. So there can be some redness, some swelling. Sometimes patients talk about a little tingling in their neck. And sometimes they have that, the swelling can feel a little bit like a, a pelican that's, that swallowed some fish or a bullfrog. But, but that really only occurs for a night or so, and then that swelling goes away, and then you start to see that improvement over a week or two. Okay, so if someone wanted to get this, now, this is the other side, too. I have to ask these questions because sure. people ask me why I don't ask them. If you aren't in the best of health, should you just be getting this, or do you need to consult with your, your, your regular physician before you make these kind of uh, uh, decisions? Right. That's an excellent question. And the answer to that is it's always good to check in with your, your primary care physician, your gynecologist or your family doctor. But these, these techniques are so non-invasive, and it's really just a needle. So it's the, pretty much the safest thing you, do, you can do in terms of treatment for that area and and so it's good to check in with your primary care physician but these are very very safe and effective products and the best thing about it is there's a great website that you can go to to find out more information about the safety of it it's been treated and cleared by the fda to be safe and effective and if you just go to mykybella.com you can get two things. You can get more information about the safety of the product, and you can also find a local practitioner near you to get the treatment for yourself. I love it. Thank you so much, Dr. Steinbeck, for giving us that, that fountain of youth information. You Thanks bet. Thanks for being my guest. Thanks for having me.